welcome students today i am here to take your chemistry class for standard 7 today's topic will be matter what is matter matter is a substance which is having mass occupied space and can be perceived by our senses so anything that is having mass and occupy space is can be termed as a matter in fact our universe is also made up of matter like that so many things are there in and around you which is made up of matter do you think what is this this is a pen is this a matter what is this is this a matter what is this a glass having water inside into it is it a matter the answers of all these specific question is yes you are correct it is a matter all these are matter now why this is a matter it, because it occupies space and have certain mass now matter is further classified into solid liquid and gas solid what are solid solids are the substances of matter which have definite shape and definite volume liquids are such types of matter which have definite volume but no definite shape gas gas are such types of matter which do not which neither have a definite shape nor have a definite volume now before explaining all these facts i like to explain something more about matter in olden times matter is basically uh, they explained about matter greek philosophers and indian philosophers they are of the view that matter is composed of five different elements what are those sky earth water air and fire what are those sky earth water air and fire so these are the conceptions in olden times regarding matter but in modern science matter is being classified into two different forms one is living form another is the non living form and in chemistry children basically we will study about the non living form of the matter further this uh, non living form of the matter is classified into pure substances and impure substances regarding this two we will study in higher classes now let us discuss about these three states of matter solid liquid and gas solid can be cannot be compressed why because the intermolecular force of attraction between the particles in case of solid is much much more so there is no space or gap between the particles that's why solids cannot be compressed solids are rigid unlike solid liquid can be compressed but very very little but gas can be compressed as much as possible why because in gases the intermolecular force of attraction between the particle is much much less and the gap between the particle is much much more so i mean to say that in case of solid the force of attraction between the particle is more and the gap between the particle is less but in case of gas the force of attraction between the particle is much much less 
and the gap between the particles is much much more. That's why solids are incompressible and gases are much compressible. Liquids, they are having the properties, it flow from higher level to lower level. Because the liquids, the particles can collide one over another easily. That's why liquids can flow from higher level to lower level. Now, if we go through some of the more terms related to composition of the matter, Actually, matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. What are atoms? Atoms are the building blocks of matter. Atoms are very, very tiny particles and these atoms, they do not have independent existence. Atom, when one atom combines with another atom, it forms molecules. So, molecules have the independent existence, but matter uh, well, I mean to say atom do not. So one thing I must say that matter in case of molecules they have the independent existence but mat uh, molecules and atoms these two substances uh, cannot be seen with the help of our naked eye. So children today up to here I am going to take your class next day I will explain some more about this particular topic. Thank you.